Well, so far we've talked a lot about sets and we've talked a lot about real valued functions. In this section, we're going to talk about mathematical induction and recursion. Now, it's not going to be recursion like we're uh, writing a recursive program on the computer, but it's related in that it's a recursive definition of perhaps a sequence or a function. Well, the basis of mathematical induction, which is a method for proving an infinite number of propositions or statements, very, very powerful tool. The, the basis for, the reason this works, and we'll get into mathematical induction in just a, a minute or two, <clears throat> it's based on the well-ordering principle. Very simple statement. It says, the WOP, well-ordering principle says, every non-empty subset of the natural numbers has a smallest number. That's a pretty simple statement and fairly obvious to us. Another way of saying it, just using symbols, it's just restating this. S, a subset of the natural numbers, and not equal to the empty set, means if S is a, a non-empty subset of the natural numbers, that implies S has a smallest number or a least element. The generalized well-ordering principle says that, well, suppose S is a subset of the integers. So now it can go um, in, uh, without bound in either direction, positive or negative, and it's not empty. Here's the kicker. If S has a smallest number, then so does every non-empty subset of S. And again, that makes sense. And, and as I mentioned earlier, the well-ordering principle is the basis of mathematical induction, which we'll get to in just a minute. 